Dylan Brooks completed all the feats necessary to become the NBA's next villain, leading the NBA with 18 technical fouls this season, earning a pair of one-game suspensions in the process, shoving a cameraman, hitting Gary Payton while in the air, causing him to break his elbow, punching Donovan Mitchell in the groin, which started a brawl, and punching LeBron James in the groin claiming he was going for the ball, but unfortunately hit too. He termed his own playing philosophy as, I poke bears, and he featured in the headlines after dismissively referring to James as old even though the 27-year-old Brooks was the second oldest active player in the Grizzlies roster. Besides, engaging in trash talk that Memphis Grizzlies deem as a distraction that contributed to their elimination from the playoffs, Brooks is earning quite a reputation for himself in his sixth NBA season as he evidently took upon himself to become the Grizzlies' over-emotional leader and on-court irritant. Which culminated to the franchise asserting its lack of interest to continue its cooperation with the subject come next season. The announcement was met with multiple reactions from stakeholders such as Damn, bitch, <laughs> you asked for the 40? Here's the 40. Here's the 40. <laughs> However, all is not lost as Brooks has a chance to restore his image in the league, get resigned with another team, and continue flourishing with his NBA career. Crisis communication plays an important role in this context as a crisis is deemed as a threat to a brand necessitating the need for the former to establish ways to respond to the crisis and recoup public interest. A crisis also is deemed as unexpected, specific, and non-routine event or a sequence of events which establish extraordinary degrees of uncertainty and threaten a brand's high-priority goal. Notably, Dylan Brooks' actions and shortcomings including leading the league with Tex, trash talk with dismal playoff performance, going back and forth with Draymond Green on the internet, injuring Gary Payton, hitting Donovan Mitchell and LeBron James on the groin, and his initial employer averring their intention to end their cooperation stemming from his brash and pedestrian attitude that it shuns which tainted his image as a brand and thus are deemed as a crisis that public relations recommend be viewed through its pooled variables threat, short response time, and surprise. Threat derives from the extreme inconsistency between the desired status of a brand and its public standing demanding monitoring of conceivable outcomes and responses prior to assessing the problem's severity. The second crisis aspect, short response time, recommends a crisis manager to avail a comprehensive and honest delineation of the crisis to the media and stakeholders in time to deal away with chances of establishing additional threat and uncertainty that can further ruin a brand's credibility and image. Last, surprise concerns the sudden confrontation with circumstances considered as unlikely and inconsistent with routine such as Dylan Brooks' uncharacteristic dismissal by the Memphis Grizzlies and the lack of employment interest from another NBA franchise. Brands and organizations mitigate crisis by taking both a preventive and restorative approaches. Benoit's image restoration strategies avails five image restoration techniques to comprehend the image repair message and they include denial, evasion of responsibility, reducing the offensiveness of an act, corrective action, and mortification. In most cases, brands and individuals usually apply these strategies unconsciously unaware of their meaning and effects. Dylan Brooks utilized denial as a strategy in defending his actions against accusations of intentionally hitting LeBron James on the groin as he claimed that he was reaching for the ball, which abounds as simple denial. Evasion of responsibility comprises four tactics, provocation, defeasibility, accident, and good intention all facilitating an entity to manipulate public perception and renounce responsibility for their actions. For instance, Dylan Brooks initially employed defeasibility as a strategy although unsuccessfully after pushing a cameraman and failing to check on him before returning to the game, which contributed to the NBA fining him. Brooks also claimed accident in the LeBron's groin issue where the NBA deemed his premise successful and issued no further penalties for hitting the Lakers star as per an NBA spokesperson. Good intentions is also evident in Brooks' response to why he hit LeBron James in the groin as he cites as he was reaching for the ball, which qualifies his innocence to some extent. Reducing offensiveness encompasses offering an alternative perspective to the issue and consists of six tactics including bolstering, minimize, differentiate, transcend, attack accuser, 
and compensate. Bolstering is a good option in this context as it permits a brand to emphasize its good traits. Which Dylan Brooks applies severally when he reiterates his defensive agility and sportsmanship, sentiments that if acknowledged by the NBA fraternity, bolster his image. Dylan Brooks should also try to minimize the negative feelings related with his wrongful acts by addressing his engaging in trash talk as a necessary evil intended to impair the opponent. Transcendence, as a tactic, facilitates alleviating offensiveness by placing an act in a more favorable context, for instance, Dylan Brooks could claim rivalry for his actions that contribute to fights and technical, which fans can understand as a result of healthy competition. Attacking accuser is evident from the manner Dylan Brooks handled his situation with Draymond Green, which proliferated into the internet until both parties decided to quit. Compensation is the final form of alleviating offensiveness, and if satisfactory to the victim, it should improve the image of the brand. Dylan Brooks has been fined multiple times by the NBA for his unbecoming conduct and his compliance augments his brand image as responsible. Corrective action includes the brand or organization promising to correct the issue through restoring the state of affairs existing before the offensive action and or promising to shun the repetition of the offensive act. Essentially, it is in good faith for Dylan Brooks to show through his actions his intentions and commitment not to repeat the initial actions that got him fined before. The final general strategy is mortification, which encompasses confessing and begging for forgiveness with the hope that the aggrieved party will consider the prayer and restore the perpetrator's position and standing. For instance, if it really means much to Dylan Brooks, he can craft a letter to the Grizzlies explaining his behavior regret associated, and intention to change for the good of the organization. Communication is deemed as the vital means to reinstate a brand's image as it allows stakeholders to comprehend and influence its image via the formation of people's experience leading to their interpretations concerning the brand or corporation. Hopefully, Dylan Brooks lands a competitive franchise next season and stays on his best behavior because NBA players who made it out of Canada Flipping that competitive switch off is a lot easier said than done.